You never really know someone until you find out what they've buried. Welcome to Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi, featuring retired FBI Special Agent Jennifer Coffin-Daffer. Scott Peterson, he's back. Two new Netflix or a Netflix docu series, and also one on Peacock. Two very different docu series. One with the voice of Scott Peterson. Scott, for the first time, giving an interview in 20 years and still proclaiming his innocence. The other one on Netflix going on the other side, really kind of revisiting the case and laying out just how guilty Scott Peterson truly is. Uh, very interesting to watch. Joining me to discuss, Jennifer Coffendaffer, retired FBI special agent. The reason for all this attention is DNA on duct tape. My question to you is, will a single piece of duct tape with some DNA on it, maybe of somebody else, is that enough to get Scott Peterson a new trial despite the overwhelming evidence of guilt that exists in this case? I think it will get him some consideration. But again, we don't know whose DNA yeah. this is. This could completely blow up in Peterson's face and it could be his or Lacey's on it. If it's his or Lacey's, it's close the book. He's done. Serve out your time. If it ends up being someone else's, such as, you know, the person that packaged it, mm -hmm. <laughs> the person that uh, handed it to him, uh, somebody else in the house that used it. And so there's other DNA. At that point, they're going to, of course, uh, rule out other people mm -hmm. that had access to that tape. In other words, other family members, other people who were around that tape. Uh, so they'll try to rule that out. So th I think this is going to be a multi-step process in terms of making any determinations. When they take a look at the DNA, uh, I'm assuming, and you tell me, what exactly are, what's going to be a red flag? What's going to be a, we need to investigate this further? Is it, if it's somebody's already in the system that maybe was around that area at that point in time who may have a reason to want to kill her or maybe was hired to kill her um, or, or, or what? What's going to be the, the, the factor here that they can rule out 20 years later um, whose DNA, what if it's not in the system? We don't know who it is. It could have been, you know, somebody at the store that picked up the, the duct tape as well. Right. It's it's really if if indeed that DNA goes back to somebody in CODIS, there's there's that's a red flag to mm -hmm. me. Um, if it's somebody with a criminal record, um, <laughs> unless they happen to work at Ace Hardware or wherever mm -hmm. he purchased that, I see that as as a big issue. Um, the burglars that were across the street, of course, their uh, situation proved to be an alibi, if you will, because the burglary uh, occurred after mm -hmm. uh, Lacey disappeared. And in addition, uh, they took polygraphs and passed them with uh, flying colors, even though that's not admissible, I don't believe, in California. By the way, it's it, polygraphs are starting to be admissible in multi-states, oh, by wow. the way. I didn't um, know that. Wow. Yeah, it, it's moving in that direction. But in any event, uh, you know, they were ruled out pretty quickly. So now who are you looking at? Some stranger that entered on Christmas Eve and, and did this horrible crime and, oh, by the way, uh, discarded her body in the exact same place Scott Peterson chose to fish 90 miles away. Mm -hmm. Um you know, it it would have to be something absolutely off the charts, in my opinion, to get this uh, a new trial. Will we see any investigation or any any examination, you think, of, of that van? We've heard about the van now, the one that had the mattress in it that may have some sort of DNA on that. Right now, they're not testing that. There's been no order to do that. But if we find something here that's questionable, do you think they're going to go down that route as well just to see maybe, maybe we have something else going on? Well, that certainly is a logical step. As I mentioned, I really do see this as a multi-stage situation if it's not Lacey's or or Peterson's DNA. Uh, then you're going to see multi-steps, and it could include uh, the van and pulling DNA from that for comparison. It's going to be very fascinating. Uh, what do you think is going to happen here if we do have the DNA? I, you know, will this... I know you said multi-steps, but uh, is it let's keep moving and digging deeper and deeper before they say, OK, let's do a new trial? Yes, I think they're going to have to 
dig deeper uh, than just saying it's not Lacey's and it's not Peterson's. I think they're going to have to dig deeper than that. Um, but I think it will be Lacey's or Scott Peterson's. I really do. Yeah. I think it's uh, most likely there. Remember, of course, duct tape is so tacky mm -hmm. and and such a perfect surface uh, for fingerprints, for, you know, DNA, for, you know, to stick to and to mm -hmm. cling to. And it, it would surprise me uh, that his DNA wouldn't be on tape um, as she was bound. Although recall, you know, she was at the bottom of the bay mm -hmm. uh, for days, for almost two months, I believe. Wouldn't that affect DNA on duct tape? Uh, maybe I have no idea. But I mean, just thinking that you're in the water, there's all bacteria and things that are eating away at things. Uh, you know, how how good is that DNA? Well, they seem to think that with, you know, modern technology in terms of uh, the DNA that was found, that they can, uh, you know, make a decision as to uh, what that DNA, who that DNA goes back to. And I believe they will be able to. Yeah. I mean, this isn't something that uh, that they didn't think was possible. Sure. It just wasn't possible back in that day. Yeah, 20 years now, ago. Yeah. yeah. Now it's very possible. So I think it's, it, we'll see. I agree with you, though, that until the scientists say what they can do, that's, that's how we'll truly know. Sick of the ads? Yep, we are too. Then you need to become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Heck, even try it for three days free right now. As a Premium Plus subscriber, you'll get exclusive access to uncut interviews before everyone else. Plus, no more commercials. So, if you have an iPhone, just search True Crime Today Premium Plus and press subscribe now.